Hello there everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews! So today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen! Autobot Jolt! So let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure! So let's get it on man, let's go! But, of course, before we take a look at the package... Uh, <laughs> before we take a look at the figure itself, it's always nice to take a look at the packaging right here. So, you have a nice, beautiful image there of Jolt's robot mode. I absolutely love his design. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Um, he's from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. His name is Jolt. He's an Autobot Studio Series number 75. Transformers logo on the side. Generations, Takarotomi, Hasbro. And yeah, the backdrop is the wrong backdrop because if you come to the back here, it says Pyramid Desert Battle. That is not the Pyramid Desert Battle. What's that? What what what's this? This, this that is from Dark and Moon. Seriously, really? Was was this supposed to be used for Autobot Q slash Wheeljack from Dark and Moon? I, I I don't know. What 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 what's happening here, Hasbro? But. You know what? I'm not gonna complain because I don't care about backdrops. But anyway, <laughs> come to the side here. You can see Autobot logo. That now that is correct. Now this is correct. Yes. Now that makes me happy. But um, <laughs> seeing an Autobot symbol in the Subcon packaging, that that, that that yeah, that does not that does not make me happy. That makes me furious. Anyway, <laughs> nice beautiful image there of Jolt right there, and another image there of Jolt's head. And you can see it's the deluxe class number 75, and the other yeah, the obligatory. Uh, product shots right here. Got the robot mode, got the vehicle mode, and you can see officially licensed product. Parents. Parents. <laughs> Parents lol. 23 steps. And you have your bio right there. So let's read this one. When Jolt uses his electro whips to link the Autobot leader with jet parts from jet fire up to his prime, takes to the skies as jet power. Optimus Prime, and that is awesome. That is amazing. So, I think that is pretty much it for the packaging itself. And here is Jolt fully transformed into his lovely vehicle mode. And I dig the vehicle mode. I really like the look of this guy. Man, he looks awesome. The vehicle mode looks great, in my opinion. You can see the Chevrolet logo on the front there, painted in silver. And lots of silver paint right here on the front. That looks beautiful. You can see the metallic paint for the headlights. Nice silver painted rims, I do quite like that. And a nice translucent plastic here for the windows and windshields. Nice silver paint for the side view mirrors. And nice red paint for the for the tail lights. And of course at the back you must paint the uh, the Chevy logo as well. So yeah, the, the Chevy logo is painted silver as well. Yeah. Got <laughs> black paint right back here as well. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really good, I will say. Come on the side here, um, you, can see, you can see how the robot mode works. Um, he's pretty much a shell former, but um, I don't care because I love the car. Um, you know, I love the jolt design and uh, I dig this car mode. I really like it. Very, very screen accurate, if I do say so myself. Even though he was like in the movie for like all of two seconds. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah. But still, a really, really cool figure, in my opinion. Um, now, he does include uh, some weaponry of his own. He includes these things. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these things, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of these whips. Um, it would have been nice, you know, they could be posable, you know. They're not posable, they're just hard plastic and they can't even bend. They, they, they're, they're, they're bendy, but I don't want to bend them too much because I don't want to break them. But <laughs> So, uh, yeah, he does come with his uh, whips to, to combine uh, Jolt and... Uh, uh, combine Jolt? No, combine Optimus Prime and Jet Fire. There we go. <laughs> but um, now, these two store on the vehicle mode itself. There are slots right here, there are tabs right there, and you're meant to tab these whips into these slots. Bear in mind. These are just ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> these look totally ridiculous in the vehicle mode, but actually, you know, for Jolt, I kind of, I think it kind of works out. You know, yeah, I think that looks cool. Yeah, just just having gigantic whips on the side of the car. There we go. <laughs> Shoot lightning! I, I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> let's just take out these weapons off to the side right now. And uh, yeah, and of course. He does roll as well as he should, so that's pretty cool. So 
Let's move on to some size comparisons. You know what? Just for the heck of it, here we have the uh, the Revenge of the Fallen Autobots that we have so far. Um, I didn't put the Bumblebee right here because I uh, I haven't reviewed Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee yet. So I will I will review the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee uh, tomorrow. So yeah, and then I can uh, just you know put the rest of the Revenge of the Fallen Autobots together and you know have a group shot right here. But uh, yeah, nice looking group of Autobots. You have you have uh, Optimus Prime. You have the uh, Ironhide. Jetfire, Sideswipe, and don't worry, I will replace. I will uh, change. Uh, I will get the Wrench Fallen Sideswipe as well, so it actually uh, actually fits. <laughs> you have the RC Sisters, and finally you have Jetfire, and they look quite good together. They will say they look quite good together. Um, although the scale between the jet and the uh, <laughs> and the cars are not. Yeah, they they don't work out that well because you know yeah the the truck is bigger than a jet, so yeah. It's taller than a jet, so anyway, <laughs> so that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Oopsies, I totally forgot one more comparison. <laughs> Here is Jolt compared with his Waymate, SS86 Deluxe Class. No, oh, so you can see how they scale with one another. So that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now, now we're done with the ultimate comparisons. <laughs> All right, so I think we are pretty much done with the vehicle mode itself. So let us transform Jolt into his robot mode. Now the transformation on this guy, um, it's actually not that hard to do. It's actually quite, quite simple really. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna untab the front section right here. And you want to bring these down and to uh, untab the back wheels right here as well. So untab the back wheels. Wait, I'm gonna untab everything right here, untab them. Okay, you wanna untab, unclip everything, unclip, unclip, there we go, and just bring this whole section out, like so. And now we can split uh, this section right here, open this up, open that up, and just bring this section down. There we go, these will become his, uh, his wings. <laughs> so, let's just bring this down, just like so, and there you have that section all done. So now, you wanna take uh, this section right here, you want to flip this in, just like so. Not, uh, flip this in, not all the way yet. You just need to straighten out the legs, bring down the legs, just like so. And just bring the foot up, bring the foot up. And just put the wheel in, put the wheel in, and there we go. So now just bring this down like so. Just bring this down, and now you can flip this all the way in, just like so. And there you have... The legs pretty much all done and ready. So now I need to raise up the camera. So do excuse me. Do excuse me for a moment. There we go. So now you want to take this back section right here. You want to unclip all this and just fold all this out. There we go. Just untab uh, flip the hand out and just untab this and just straighten out the arm. And there we go. And now you can take the section right here. You want to. Uh, Rotate this around just like so and just flip this More to the front. It's on a hinge There we go. Bring down the arm and there we go. We got one arm all done and ready easy peasy lemon squeezy So now I can take the other arm and do the same thing Put this out and just untab this entire section right here and there we go and just rotate this around like so and then flip this to the forefront and there you go, there you have the legs and arms ready to go. So I can bring this section down like so, like that. And I can take this entire section right here, just flip all this in. You can see there are, uh, there are tabs right here. There we go into these slots right in there. And I would just tab in right there like so. And you can see there are two tabs to so tab into these slots right in there keep that locked into place even further and I think we are done are we done yes we are done so make sure he's standing a little bit more straight Bring the head up like so and yeah I think we're done are we done yes we are done so there you have uh, studio series deluxe class jolt Fully transformed into his robot 
Smooth. I do quite like his design. I really do like his robot mode. He looks really, really, really cool, in my opinion. You know, he looks really good. You know, in this robot mode, this robot mode definitely looks really, really good. I love it. I love his design in this movie. I absolutely love it. Yeah, looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's get in close here. Let's can take a look at that head sculpt and uh, yeah nicely done head sculpt I do quite like the head sculpt nice over paint on the face nice blue for the eyes and yeah this is the screen accurate looking head because I never cared for the head with the three horns I'm sorry <laughs> because I, I never grew up with that figure I did I looked at that figure I looked at the original deluxe class jolt and I just ugh, looks ugly looking and I didn't want to get it because of, uh, because of the uh, ugly looking robot mode this one looks so much better in my opinion so this one Totally destroys that original <laughs> deluxe jolt. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion and, and as always agree to disagree so But yeah, I do quite like the detail on this figure. I mean look at that detail on the chest that nice silver paint you can see and I like the mixture of clear plastic with hard plastic on the legs too and then uh, nice silver paint on the thighs as well and the crotch as well and uh yeah, really nicely done. You can see the sewer paint on the arms being carried over. And I like the claws, they look pretty cool. They look really in, very nice. And of course you do have a lot of kibble, you know, you do have a lot of kibble like the hip kibble, yeah, the yeah, the backpack kibble. Yeah, I don't don't care about the kibble because the kibble they don't really go in the way. They they don't really uh they don't really get in the way of, of you know of the figure, so yeah. Because, you know, you can, you can make do with the kibble if you want, so. But yeah, really nicely done. I, I do quite like the robot mode of this figure. Um, and you get a little bit of silver paint right here as well. And that yeah, looks, yeah, looks good. Looks good. I think this is the, uh, the, the best looking uh, Jolt figure that we've ever gotten, you know. It's, it's the really the best looking Jolt, I, I will say. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, it's my opinion. I. I just think that this one looks the best, you know, it just looks so good and uh, looks very screen accurate too, so yeah, really nicely done. So now in terms of the articulation with this figure, uh, the head, I believe is on the ball joint, yeah, uh, the head is on the ball joint, you can rotate side to side a little bit, you can look up, can't really look down, um, if you move these out of the way, uh, the shoulders can uh, pretty much, uh, uh, they can't really do a full... 360 it, 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 yeah they can't really do a full 360 but the hands the arms can move up like that hey you can do the hooray pose but um yeah make sure they're not in the way there we go so there you go <laughs> so yeah I mean you, you you can try you can try to uh, rotate the arms around a full 360 but you have to you know, m maneuver around this uh, the, the backpack kibble so yeah and of course you have to and, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, there, there we go, uh, yeah, there we go, oh, oops, you can see this section right here is actually blocking the way, so, so yeah, the arms, they, they can't really do a full 360, unfortunately, but, um, it, I'm, I'm not complaining, you know, it, it's fine, if, if the arms can move forward like that, move back a little bit, that, that's fine, that's okay, uh, he does have a bicep swivel, he does have an elbow joint, over 90 degrees of bend, um, the hands can move inward due to transformation, and there we go, and he does have a waist swivel, which is really nice, and due to transformation, he has an ab crunch! Hey, he has an ab crunch, and I think that makes people happy. <laughs> makes me happy too, he has an ab crunch. But anyway, uh, the legs, uh, they're on the ball joint right here, you can move up that far, you can move back, only that far, and um, Pretty much, he can't really do the full splits, you know, he can't really do the full splits. Uh, he does have a knee joint right here, which is really, really nice. And, you know, he does have a swivel right here for what? I don't know. Swivel below the knee, there we go. And he does, you know, foot movement, the foot can move up and down. My only complaint is that he doesn't have ankle tilts. That's my only issue with the figure. That's my only main gripe with the figure, he does not have ankle tilts, but... Other than that, he's a really, really cool figure. He's a really good figure. He's a solid toy and uh, quite, quite fun to mess with as well. So now, 
Now, of course, you can have Jolt uh, wielding his weapons. I'm trying to get Jolt to stand straight. I don't know why he can't stand straight for me. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt to stand straight. Stand straight, Jolt. Sheesh. 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 Jolt. Please. 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 Jolt. 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 Thank you. <laughs> now, he can wield his weapons. Um, the way he's, uh, he wields his weapons is actually interesting. Um, you have to, uh, you know, pluck out the thumbs, you know, take out the fingers. And what you do with the fingers, you need to store them on the sides of the panels. So there are tabs and tabs in the slots right there. And these will tab in sides like that. And there we go. And uh, so now you can just take the whips and just plug it into the ports right there. And plug it into the ports like that. And now he can do the electrifying pose. And that is pretty cool. He can just cross his hands and just, just electrify. <laughs> Interesting, very interesting on how he holds his weapons. Very, very interesting. I, 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 I mean, I dig it. I dig it. I mean, I do quite dig that. But um, again, I'm not a big fan of his weapons. Yeah, his weapons. I, I don't really, I don't really like his weapons. You know, I'm not gonna display a uh, jolt with his weapons on him because you know I'm gonna take his weapons and put them into a treasure chest full of useless accessories. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of his, of his weapon, so. But it's cool that he includes his whips. So now I'm just going to uh, replace these uh, with his hands uh, off camera. So I'll be right back. And he has reappeared again. So <laughs> yay, we got his normal hands back in one place. So what back in one place, back in one piece. There we go. So now let's move on to some size comparisons. Here is Jolt compared with the Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Gnaw, you know, with his wave mate. And uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same height. I think Jolt is a little bit taller than Gnaw, but yeah, pretty much the same height. There we go. And uh, let's move on to the next set of comparisons. And last but not least, here we have Jolt with the rest of the revenge uh, with, <laughs> with the rest of the revenge uh, with the rest of the revenge of the fallen Autobots from the Studio Series toy lines with the RC Sisters, Lita One, RC Chromia, Ironhide, Optimus Prime. I brought in this Optimus Prime because you know these two can combine with each other. It's not I'm, I don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring in the uh, Zero Five Optimus Prime because there's no difference in design, uh, you know, between the 2007 version and the uh, and the Revenge of the Fallen version. And uh, this one's the more accurate, so yeah. Anyway, you have Sideswipe, you have Ratchet, and uh, yeah, nice looking setup Autobots. We just need to review Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee, and he can be fit, uh, he can uh, be included in this uh, in this group shot. So, uh, and of course, we need to get the Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, and I think that looks really good, so I'm, de I'm definitely gonna get that as well. Uh, we need the Autobot twins, those are the only Autobots that we need. From the from the Revenge of the Fallen Autobot team, so uh, yeah, we're almost done with the Revenge of the Fallen Autobots, and uh, yeah, they look really good together. I really I really do like these group of Autobots. So yeah, so yeah, so that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformer Studio Series Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen Jolt, and uh, yeah, I really like this figure. I I. <laughs> Man, this figure, this figure really makes me happy. I mean, it's a brand new mold, brand new sculpt, and I don't think Hasbro uh, butchered on this one because this looks really, really good in robot mode. Looks very screen accurate. The head is very screen accurate, and that is what I love. This head I like so much better. The the head with the three horns, uh, no, no, that head is, does not do it for me. That's not Jolt. No. <laughs> when I saw the movie, I saw this head. I don't. I never saw the three horn head. No, no. That was just a concept art thing. Um, but this one's very screen accurate and uh, way more screen accurate than the original uh, Deluxe Jolt. Um, yeah, this one looks so so much better in my opinion. So much more detail and. You know, the transformation is nice and smooth, it's easy, it's e it's enjoyable, and uh, 
yeah, you know, I think this is way more enjoyable to mess with than the uh, than with the original Deluxe Jolt. I, I don't know, because that thing, I, I don't see that thing to be quite enjoyable, because... <laughs> Because the robot mode is just too ugly to 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 not you know it's it's yeah the, the robot mode of the original Lux Jolt I I don't really like that thing does not look that good oh my goodness this one I think just looks so much better it looks more cohesive and you know it looks looks right you know <laughs> and the proportions are yeah it they they look right the proportions look right so yeah I do quite like this figure a lot you know it looks good in robot mode looks. Looks great in vehicle mode, and uh, the only thing that I wish this figure had is the ankle tilts. It's the same issue that I had with the Studio Series Dino. Um, Dino slash Mirage never had ankle tilts to begin with, and this one also doesn't have ankle tilts, which kind of irks my soul a little bit, but it is what it is. He still can be posed in a nice dynamic pose, so yeah. So uh, yeah, as far as ranking this guy from a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'll just give him a good, um, you know what, I'm just gonna give him a good uh, 9 out of 10, yeah. Just, just the ankle tilts that kinda, yeah, I wish he had the ankle tilts. If he had the ankle tilts, then it would be a 10 out of 10, so, yeah, 9 out of 10 for this figure. I love this figure so much, and, uh, I'm quite enjoying him really, really much, so, yeah. So, uh, I got this figure from my toy M Corp, just like, uh, Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class and all, so, uh, that's where I got him. From um, if you want a jolt of your own, uh, you can check out your Targets, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you want to go. You can check check out uh, what's that called? Uh, if you're in New Zealand, you can check out EB Games if you want to. So yeah, but um, yeah. So I guess uh, that is pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you, you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Studio Series Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I will post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformer Studio Series, Deluxe Class, Jolt, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out! Yay!